but uh, I saw that once I could just pay attention to what was going on in my own system, I call it feel where you are, and it's a coarse terminology, but I hope you can use it. Scared out of your wits, you don't function very well, um, but it's not that I don't lose my connection to the floating bridge, but I recognize it sooner, and I get back quicker. Now, all of us are going to have things that we'd like to avoid in our life. Grief. Uh, some people, it's anger. Some of us, of course, are addicted to that. But, you know, whatever your problem is, um, once you recognize that you're no longer on the floating bridge, that you no longer feel comfortable in the moment, and the sooner you recognize that, the sooner you can come back to feeling whatever it is that you, quote-unquote, at first didn't want to feel. It feels like it's attacking you. Uh, it's there to support you. Actually, it's the power of your life itself. And as you start to make those shifts, you just come from that place in a very different way. And that's the power of the, the difference between, our, in a sense, our practice versus the kind of staying right there. Now we're in the, still in the confrontation. He's still on me. But now, he has to retarget in order to get me. That's an important fraction of a second. But I think Osensei wanted that strength. He wanted us to develop the strength of sensitivity, the strength of awareness, physical strength, uh, capability in terms of uh, what you call tai sabaki, when your alignment, is, where your body relationships are. He wanted that power for you because if you don't have any power, you live in fear. When you live in fear, fear naturally breeds aggression. To me, it's not about fighting. It's about changing our relationships with each other. I thought Bob hit that beautiful thing with it when he went, changed uh, from the Nikkyo to the Rokyo. You know, uh, he's doing this, he'll block me out again, and he just went. And I thought, you know, I saw it, thank you. I saw that and I thought, that's exactly right. It's like, if you want someone to listen to you, you feel like they're really not listening to you, you're probably not listening to them. You know someone feels heard when they stop talking and want to listen. Because you're always generating reciprocating echoes.